I was hiding. <laughs> Alrighty, so someone has recently um, created a bounty for making a Caitlyn trap guide. Uh, slash your pro thought process placing them. Alright, so I'm gonna teach you guys some really easy and basic rules you guys can uh, use to um, play Caitlyn, I guess. Right, traps are a very important part of her kit. Alright, so we're gonna go over the basics first. And then we're going to look at a bunch of different examples that work in game. All right. So let us hop into it. I'm going to get into game. All right. So um, the first kind of uh, usage for traps, we're going to go over a bunch of usage for traps. All right. But the best value is direct follow up on CC. Let's say your teammates done someone, put a trap on them. Boom. Follow up. Free follow up. Right. Um, so that's that's one most people kind of get intuitively right now Here's a really interesting part of it is that uh, you need to make sure that when you are Looking for a follow-up you don't accidentally use up all your traps, right? You need to save at least one trap for every Guaranteed follow-up. So let's say for every free stun on your team Let's say you have a Tarek you need one trap for his stun, right? And you also need one trap for every Zhonya's and GA that they have Right. That way you won't miss any free traps. These are all this is this is what I call a free trap. Is that it's guaranteed. You can get this guaranteed damage off, right? Everything else, not guaranteed. Okay. Now the basic um the basic uh non free trap, the way you put it down isn't just by walking around and trapping, although sometimes you can, right? Sometimes you can do this for free and uh you know it's just it'll be very obvious to your opponent right you need to you need to cancel the trap to make sure your intent is hidden right so what i mean by that is you must perform an action before or after you put down the trap so let's say you auto attack and then put down a trap it's much cleaner and much more unexpected than just trapping right you want to auto cancel your abilities when possible right the other one is trap and then auto attack right that way you get the trap out first in fact trap and then do some kind of combo. Whoops, my bad. Trapping first, and then doing some combo with trap is actually quite good because um, you can't put down two traps next to each other. You see how is it cast time? Look at this. Have a second cooldown. I can't put down another one. So you can put down a trap, and then an action, and then another trap. An action could be any ability or auto attack or movement. All right. So let me show you some examples of some classic actions. You can do EW combo, right? Very common, very important, right? You can also do QW combo. It's similar to uh, putting down, uh, or sorry, it's similar to auto attacking before you um, you put down a trap. You'll confuse your opponents, right? They won't expect it at all, right? Except you use Q instead. In fact, Qing and then trapping yourself against bruisers is quite effective. They think you're stuck for some reason, and then you're like, hell no, brother, right? You Q, W yourself, and then EW or something crazy, and oh, now you got a bunch of traps around you, right? Um, Another one is uh, ulti trap, although that's not that very useful, we're not really going to cover that. But EW, right, is going to be your bread and butter. And QW, okay? Or WQ even, alright? But you want to kind of put down these free traps as fast as possible, right? And now, where do we put these free traps? Now, that is a... Uh, yeah, now, you're going to get a lot of mixed responses from different Caitlyn mains, or different Caitlyn players, but what I found to be most effective involve these traps all right so this is the um spicy part to, to look at all right so let's say we have bushes here ends of bushes they will walk over it or they cannot they have to you know your opponents have to take a strange path to get in the bush and out of the bush right they can't just walk through and note that in these bushes you can actually go around this all right so if you want to be very thorough against ganks you need to put two down so let me show you let me let, let me show you what that looks like you need to put two down like one on the very edge and then one next to it. That way they can't get in the bush no matter what they do, right? If you just put one in the middle, they can go around, although that will be usually sufficient for regular laning purposes, all right? Another free trap to put down that's very spicy is next to the tower, okay? These are great because your opponent will path around the tower, right? You want to put your traps where your champion will path. So if I am here, if I'm standing here, I'm trying to get over here, it's going to make me walk over two traps. Look at that, <laughs> right? You want to put it at the edges of walls and terrain to make sure that they are naturally walking over it. And you put it behind the tower. Like you, like this. You can see this guy, right? He's like, he's like in there, right? So for blue side, uh, let me just teleport real quick. Uh, what is it? Shift S, whatever. For blue side to be this one. So like, I don't, can you see that, right? You can't see it normally speaking, right? You put it here, put it here. But basically, you can put it next to edges and structures, all right? So other examples, literally anywhere along the wall, right? These are great free traps. And remember, you want to 
kind of put these down as fast as possible minus the ones you need to save for every guaranteed follow-up right so there's a bunch of free traps and also uh, uh, very useful um, the most important tip is definitely combo okay combo with your net every time you net you better be putting trap down right put your free trap down this is um, kind of along the edges but also blocking so if people are trying to get into dragon or um or anything, they have to walk really strangely. Check it out. They have to go right between. If I'm if I'm on this team, I need to check dragon. Okay, I'll click here. Oh, make me path. It made, the game made me path over a trap, right? If I'm clicking here. Game made me. You know, actually that was actually awesome. It went through the middle. But you know, if you're standing here and you go here, it's gonna make you walk over the trap, right? Along the edges of the walls. All right, and uh, you can actually just do some kind of super debate where you have like this, and it looks like there's only one way to walk. So that, you know, opponents are going to try and walk past it. The instant their tank does that, boom, trap them in there. So now you have a bunch of traps in a row, all right? This is very common where ganking patterns, where the enemy jungle is trying to gank. Let's say he's, he's coming from here, right? This is, let's say this is the enemy jungle. And you put a trap here, and you're laning, and he runs straight down this line, right? This is line right here. And he's like, dude, this is Kaelin's a dumbass. He didn't, like, I can just walk past. Boom, you put it right here. And once he gets to this point, he has to go all the way around to gank. At which, eh, it's just over, right? He can't gank you. I, I mean, maybe you can slip through here. You just you just do it better, right? Oh, boom. Now he can't do anything, right? So that's actually the, the biggest debate at the higher elos. If you are diamond one or above, this is this is the easiest. or not, not the easiest, but this is the most tilting for the enemy team for sure. Do that one for lane. Um, you can do that for all of these, right? Ends of bushes and along the wall. This is insane. These, these are the insane ones, right? Edges of bushes and along the wall. Two, you got two times the value. Um, but yeah, you can cover it up like this. Um, sorry, let me get like, let me get like more traps out here. So we're not like replacing traps, right? Um, you can do it like this, right? The whole, keep one hole open to make them go through and then close it up. These pixel bushes, you can do the ends of the pixel bushes. That's totally fine. You can even do something like this. To make them think that the only way through is the bush, and you actually have the bush trap too, so good luck in Wii Sports, right? Um, and uh, I think that pretty much covers the free traps where you want to put them, right? And other free traps, in terms of not guaranteed traps, you would want to um, use, in, you know, that aren't along the edges, involve battle, right? So let's say someone is chasing you, there's a jacks on top of you, you want to trap yourself and walk over it, right? That way they'll get trapped. Right. Um, you can do this against Hecarim, Kha'Zix, literally any melee champion, Akali, or whatever. You, you guys you guys know the deal, right? Anything that jumps on top of you, anything that targets you, you put it on top of yourself and walk over it, right? It doesn't have to be on the edge, but, you know, bonus points if you can get on the edge, right? Other ones include um, people are attacking you, right? You trap between you guys, and it should be a ranged opponent. If it's not a ranged opponent and it's a melee opponent and they get past this, you're going to be really sad. You're, gonna actually, you're actually just going to die, right? And uh, if it's, they're trying to run away, put it slightly behind them so they have to flash or they're, they're going to run into the trap. Slightly behind them, slightly in front for ranged champions on top of you for melee champions, all right? Um, and that's pretty much, you know, traps in a nutshell, right? So sounds easy, but, you know, not really. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at a bunch of examples um, to see what it looks like in-game, right? So let's do that real quick. We're just going to... So here are our examples, all right? I just have a bunch of these lined up. We're gonna get started. And uh, there are pretty much no apparent order. Um, we're just going to talk about them as we see them, right? So this is the example section of the, um, the video. Right, let's take a look. This one is along the edges of walls, all right? So anywhere along the wall, you know, anything, look at this. This is, this is, this is any, anywhere along this line is gonna be great, all right? So check it out. Um, and one for every kind of Zanya's GA, whatever, right? So uh, you're going to see a LeBlanc in this clip. It's where she is, um, what's it called? Where she's going to distort back to. So LeBlanc's really good for, uh, if you know where they're going to go back to, like a Zed Shadow or LeBlanc clone, it's perfect. You just put the trap down, right? So they can't go back to it without dying. Um, man, I should have cut these clips a little better, but check it out. You know, you can flash trap. I forgot, I, you know, I didn't really mention flash trap, but it's there, right? And you'll notice that. You know, how, you know, how, where did that trap come from? How come Twitch stepped on it? Check it out. When did I make it? Did you guys see it? When did I make it? Surprising, right? So when did I make it? It's like, it's magic. Twitch had no idea, right? It's because we hit it in an action, right? So we trapped ourselves and we put it along the wall right here. I, I just put it down. See, no one saw, 
because something is currently going on. You want to disguise your traps as much as possible. There's one right there right now, and unless you're looking for it, it's or unless you're doing it, it's really hard to spot. Like Twitch has no idea, right? Um, and then I flash and I put another one down to her clone, and I just walk away. No problem. She goes back to her trap. Twitch steps on this trap, and it's all over for them, right? So very important to disguise your traps. Don't just if you can put an extra action in there uh, before or after putting down traps, you should. Okay. Every time you queue, consider trap. Every time you net, consider trap. Um, unless of course you have no more free traps, in which case you need to save them for GA or Zanyas, etc. All right. So let's let's look at this one. This one's trapping on top of yourself. I can't stress how important trapping yourself is against melee champions. Okay. So let's fast forward. I just want to see the trap myself part. Okay. Fast forward. This is a Hecarim. I put the trap. I'm just gonna stand here until he steps on it. Check it out. He has to go over the trap to hit me. That's what we care about. It's because he's a melee champion, right? Otherwise, how can they hit you, right? Boom, put another one down. See ya, boy, right? I put a trap down and I walked over it. And he actually he actually can't get me. He literally cannot He literally cannot reach me, right? Look at that. It's impossible. So, and there's a magic to traps, uh, free traps on opponents that aren't stunned and they're chasing or whatever. Range champions behind them and in front of them. And then um, melee champions on top of you, okay? This is a follow-up trap, right? So this is one of those where there's a guaranteed stun. You just get your trap in there somehow, right? So here I'll just net and flash. Um, I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys can do this as long as you plan it out, right? You know Sona's gonna ult you. Okay, you can go for it, right? This is a very classic guaranteed trap, all right? That's the first kind of trap. The one you must master first, all right? Um, let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, this is against range champions, right? We said, um, you know, okay, so a, a good tip for range champions is at their max range, that's when they will stop. See, what's what's Ash's max range when she tries to hit Warwick? Right where I put the trap, right? And also you can actually put it in the minion line because they're going to get minion blocked. So you can consider minions as walls, right? So uh, this, is, this is like a wall, okay? And uh, you want to put it along the edge of that wall. <laughs> so she's going to walk on it. Check it out, boom. She couldn't even get. She couldn't even like dodge it because like the the minions are in her way, right? So, uh, against range champions, like a little bit before or after them, like behind or ahead of them, and at their max auto attack range. Okay, so look at that max auto attack range. She got stuck, right? Um, let's see. Let's take a look at this one. This is just general examples, I guess, right? Oh, here we go. This is this is kind of recent. So here I was trying to go for a combo, but it was too late. Right, um, but it's <laughs> it's along the edge of a wall, so he steps on it anyways. The game makes him step on it, right? Um, and then uh, this one is just oh, that's a range champion, right? So at where she, her auto attack is going to be when she's chasing me, boom, right there, right? So easy, easy clap. Um, fast forward. Ah, this one is next to the tower. I forgot to mention this. Uh, this one is particularly important because if this support gets to this line, it can no longer get past the trap without getting trapped. You have to go all the way around. This one is insane If you for lower elo supports. When you're playing against lower elo supports, this one's actually insane. You can even put it way back here, right? Um, so you should really study this one. So she she's stuck. <laughs> Look at this. She's like, holy shit, I'm gonna get hooked no matter what I do, right? Oh, she opts to go back into the trap. That's definitely doomed, right? So she dies. Um, if I were her, I would've taken the chances with the hook. I'm trying to outplay the hook. This is just a GA um, example, right? When when someone's GA, they're basically stunned. Same with Zanya. So um, just throwing some examples in here so uh, you guys know what it looks like just in case you don't. Um, but here you see I'm putting it next to the tower, right? All that good stuff. Um, everything is along the edges of, you know, edges. It's all great, right? And we have some free traps too. So we're going to put those down as well. I'm sure we're going to put them down, right? So I put one, I put one. <laughs> I put one where Echo was ulting or some shit. That was crazy. Um, let me watch that again. That was nuts. Oh my lord. Yeah, that was that was a mad lad. That was a mad lad trap right there. I don't even know. That was like instinct or something. I don't know. Or maybe I was just aiming a different trap there. Um, yeah, for GA, okay? I missed the one on binding because I wasn't paying attention. But on GA is important, okay? On free traps. Um, and I actually am missing a few traps, so I couldn't get the uh, the gin. But it's okay. Remember, you must save the exact amount of traps for guaranteed CC and their GA Zanya. Otherwise, you're giving up a free trap on them. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. This one's on. This one's on Zanya's. It's just like the GA example. It's super free, right? 
for sure, sure. And I'll also show you what happens when you miss your, um, when you are not counting your traps, right? So I put one on her Zanyas, and there's another Zanyas, but I don't have a trap. And you see, it actually takes me a few auto attacks to kill him. Look at this. No, he almost killed the Nili, right? So, and these other free traps that we put down, you know, we could have saved some of them, right? So it's important to put down these traps as fast as possible, but it's also equally as important to save an exact number of traps for follow-up. Okay, follow-up traps. This one is just the classic end of bushes. Like even if they know it's here, it's really hard to avoid, right? Um, if she's in the bush and she's trying to run away, she can forget about the trap. Actually, that's very common where they will forget about the trap, right? So she knows it's worded. Um, when she saw, she literally saw the trap, so that's why she's not like stepping on it. And then as she's like walking away or something, right? Oh, stepped on it. <laughs> um, and then I also have a trap follow up for uh, Thresh, right? It's important to note how you will follow up on your supports. It's not just as simple as putting it down on top of them, right? So for example, against Thresh Hook, he's gonna pull it. You know, he's gonna pull them and flay. So you need to put it in between Thresh and the person, not on top of the person, right? Um, for, uh, let's, let's, what's another weird example? Like Morgana's like right, right on top of them, right? For Nautilus, it's like almost on top of them, but maybe slightly in front of them too. Uh, cause it's weird, right? You just gotta basically learn, learn your support matchup with, with Kaylin, right? Um, yeah, that's just an experience thing, right? Um, two more examples. This one's just the follow-up example with Galio, right? Um, You'll note that Galio taunt is not a true combo unless it's fully a full duration taunt um, because your trap takes 1.25 seconds to arm. Um, so uh, unless his full taunt, it's not going to work. But he said he was going to adjust this punch, right? Um, so he's like, e we we're, were talking about combos in the chat before laning phase. So he was like, okay, I'm going to E them. So put it on top of them anyways. So I put it on top of her anyways, even though um, the taunt didn't quite true combo. But... His, he, he punched her in the air, so it did true combo, right? Um, and this one is the last one we have here. There are many, 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 many examples. Um, some of the ones we didn't show are like EW, QW, but you can find them, slash see them, I don't know, look at K montage, look at K lane gameplay, but I don't want to just turn this video into all examples, all right? So this one's um, just on Kane. I don't even know what this is, but we're going to take a look. Uh, let's fast forward get to the point. Oh, yeah. Chasing, chasing. Um, in this case, Kane is not really a ranged champion, but uh, uh, we're putting it in his path as he's chasing us, right? He's not quite getting on top of us. Right? It's not not exactly how Kane works. So um, it was just in between me and him on the edge of the wall. And when in doubt, put it closer to you because if you put it too far away from you, they're going to walk over it and it's not going to arm in time, right? So that's basically um, a bunch of examples I had. I hoped that these kinds of tips slash rules will help you figure out how to use your traps as Kaylin, all right? Um, and if when in doubt, put them on edges of walls and ends of bushes. You can't really go wrong with that, but you can go wrong with just putting them down randomly and not having enough traps for GA, Zanyas, and um, guaranteed follow-up, right? So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you guys do have uh, uh, you know other things you wanna see, definitely hit me up or use the bounty. Uh, <laughs> I should probably do this one too, right? Um, yeah, I think we play enough as we can do this one. But yeah, let me know if this was helpful um, or if I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comments, right? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.